Now that was an introduction, so like, rape, rape, giant penis, Middle East conflict, here's Peter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In front of a 20 month year old child. <laughs> In fairness, I, I, I was at a show on Monday with the lovely Rochelle watching me. I, I told a, a handful of penis jokes and she didn't make any objections. So. Oh. What? <laughs> Let's just get into it, eh? So. How many Japanese politicians does it take to change a light bulb? Seven. How many Japanese politicians ever do any kind of housework? <laughs> yeah. That one brought to you for International Women's Day. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to that. International women never complain about the size of my penis. <laughs> They just take one look and move to another seat on the train. <laughs> Always get three seats to myself. Right. I am on the clock, we do have to decide. So by applause, who would like more politician jokes? Hey. Yeah. By applause, who would like more penis jokes? Wow, that's a big yeah from this gentleman. <laughs> yeah! I don't want to be the penis joke man. <laughs> but, since you ask... <laughs> I find it frustrating sometimes when women tell me they don't want to date me. At least, like, wait till I ask. <laughs> The other day, a woman told me she wouldn't date me even if I were the only man in the world. First, if I were, get the grammar straight. <laughs> I think I did, I think I fucked that up. <laughs> Second, if I were the only man in the world, I would have my pick of three and a half billion women. Even if we eliminate like the elderly and gay women and under 16, 20, that's what I meant. <laughs> 20, definitely. That's, that's still a lot of women and she probably wouldn't make the top 400 million. <laughs> Japanese women never complain about the size of my penis. And as long as I don't understand Japanese, they never will. <laughs> the other day, my boss told me that if I worked hard and applied myself, I could be promoted to a senior position with more responsibility. And that's a really useful warning. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Does anyone here work at a Japanese company? Hey. I was going to ask how it was, but yeah. <laughs> Tells me what I need to know. Because I don't. I'm really glad I don't work at a Japanese company. And if I'm lucky, they will never notice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my head down, not draw attention to myself. I'll be okay. Fucking don't tell them. <laughs> Another woman told me she wouldn't date me even if we were the last two people left alive. Which was surprisingly specific. No. If we're living in some kind of like post-apocalyptic wasteland, I don't think dating would work the same way. <laughs> so hi, 
I was wondering if you might like to get some dinner tonight. I know this derelict restaurant we can scavenge a really nice dog's carcass. <laughs> Everyone's dead, but the phone's still working. <laughs> I'm a considerate man, I am. Japanese women can be kind of loud when they're making love, but I don't like to bother the neighbors. So I make sure to always have the volume down on the computer. <laughs> yeah. This last one is also brought to you by International Women's Day. <laughs> the other day, a woman told me she wouldn't complain about the size of my penis, even if I were a Japanese politician. <laughs> Because if I were a Japanese politician, I wouldn't care about any woman's opinion. <laughs> That's the last one. Thank you so much. Have a good night.